Hello everyone, this is Rich Wall. I'm your instructor for the Spring 2013 Information Technology Literacy course, uh, FC 120 G as in George. I'd like to welcome you to our course. Uh, this actually is the first time that uh, I have taught the Information Technology course online, so you folks are the first to experience this, so um, I think we'll actually have some fun doing this because we're going to learn together. Uh, what I want everyone to know right away is that this is an online course. An online course means that we will not be meeting at all in person. Uh, we'll be meeting online. And throughout our 16 weeks in the semester, um, we will have multiple opportunities to collaborate and communicate online using uh, some of the new and most modern online learning technologies. So again, I'd like to welcome you all. Uh, just as a quick reference, I'm physically located on the campus of Mitchell College in the Duquesne Center in room 211. Um, if you need to reach me at all, you can reach me at uh, area code 860-629-6157. But I'm also always available on email, which is wall underscore r at mitchell.edu. And I do receive emails after hours because I have a smartphone which uh, picks up the Mitchell email. So again, welcome to our course. I'd like to um, move right over to the Mitchell webpage. And uh, for those of you who have used Epsilon in the past, this will be somewhat of a review. But I know we've got some students who've never used the Epsilon course management system before. And as you know, I've been sending you a, a variety of emails uh, just to ensure that you're ready technically to start the course. And again, if you have any issues with any of your technologies, please reach out to me as soon as you can so we can address some of those issues. But uh, the most important thing is knowing how to get to our course uh, on the Epsilon course management page. And so I'd like to start with the basics. And you'll do that by um, actually starting at the main Mitchell web page. And at the main Mitchell web page, and by the way, you can use any browser you'd like. You can use uh, Internet Explorer, Firefox, Chrome, Safari. All the browsers do work uh, both for our web page and also for the Epsilon course management system. So on the main Mitchell page, what you're going to do is you're going to click on the words current student. You then are going to click on the word learning management. You are then going to go over to Epsilon. And this is where you're going to enter in your Epsilon user name and ID. Those of you who have used Epsilon before, you already have your username and password. For those of you who have not used Epsilon, you have received an email from Epsilon with your username and password. And uh, we need to have you make sure that you log in, enter in your security questions, and then proceed forward to the course. When you click on the word login, you'll come to a, your My Portal page. Everyone has the same look. Uh, my portal page that I come to is the same as yours. So that's the most important thing. So if you're just slowly getting into the Epsilon environment, just be sure that you land on the My Portal page, and that will be your launch point to go into the courses. As a reminder, as you all know, you completed a uh, online student readiness survey. In that survey was a link to a tutorial for Epsilon. And uh, what I did in that tutorial is give you a high-level overview of the Epsilon course management system and many of the tools that uh, instructors use throughout the period of the semester. So on the main My Portal page, what you're going to do next is you're going to come over to the word Learning. Then you're going to click on the word Courses. And I have several courses that I'm involved with here, but you're going to only have one course and you're going to see uh, our course, which is the FC120 Information Technology Literacy online course. You're going to click to get into our course. And the moment you arrive at our home page, um, you'll see many announcements uh, right there in front of you that I have made. Also, any announcements I make for the course are mailed to you directly to your Mitchell email. And so that's, uh, I, I, that's one nice feature about Epson that I like is the fact that um, it over communicates, uh, if you want to use a, a funny set of words there. So this is our main home page. Um, one of the things I would like to have you do, and as part of the first project, is that you're going to actually upload a picture of yourself, like I have here, 
so that uh, I can get to know you by a picture and uh, at least uh, we'll be able to share what each other look like online even though we're not going to be meeting face to face. Um, we'll get into that particular part of Project 1 in just a little bit. But our course is going to be using several of the functions of the main page here on the left side. The first function I'd like to have you check out will be the syllabus. And in the syllabus function, or I'll call the syllabus tab, uh, you click on it and you'll notice you have a download button. If you click on download, you'll then open up a Microsoft document. And that is, um, what, at that point, you'll see our uh, course syllabus. Now, the course syllabus has all the details of the course, description, uh, but as you look at the syllabus, there is one area I'd like to have you uh, pay more attention to, and that's the area of our projects. This online course is going to consist of six projects and a final project, which will be a paper. Uh, each of the projects will take about two weeks, and I use the word about uh, kind of in a broad term, because we're going to build in some extra time just in case we need to add some um, extra days for the projects. Uh, each of the projects will be announced through the resource tab and uh, the projects will be announced with regards to project descriptions, tasks, and assignments. And Not to worry, I'll, I'll take you through that in just a little bit. Uh, so the first project will take some time to get used to and you'll see how the rest of the projects then roll out over the semester. So when you get a chance, I'd ask you to review the syllabus. I'd like to take you now to the resources section of our course. And this is where, as I mentioned earlier, anything that I upload to the course management system for our course will go here. And anytime I do upload anything for the course, you will receive an announcement in your email. Also, when you log in, you'll also see the announcement uh, about what I've uploaded. Uh, just to be aware, I now have for you three different resources in the resource area. Uh, the first one will be, um, as you see here, the lower one. This is the announcement of our first project. We'll get into that in just a little bit. Uh, the second one is an announcement of some video tutorials that I've provided for you about Epsilon. Um, and we'll talk about that in just a little bit. And then the last one is part of Project 1, which is a glossary of online learning terms. So again, anything to do with resources for the course, in particular assignments will be in here and you will receive an announcement. The next area will be this area called drop boxes. Now I've got nothing in there right now set up but anytime we have an assignment due um, in the form of papers uh, or projects or PowerPoints for example I will create a drop box which is basically a, it's a virtual file cabinet in the sky um, anyone that has used the Dropbox application that's out there in the cloud computing area, as they call it, this is very similar in nature. Um, but what we'll do is we'll actually have dates of which these Dropboxes will open and when they'll close. And of course, when I have an assignment that is due for Dropbox, I will go ahead and uh, send an announcement out for that uh, particular assignment in Dropbox. If you come down to the next one where it says, uh, or next area called members, this is the listing of our current course members. And uh, Jennifer, thank you very much. We already have your picture there, so that's great. And I hope um, through part of the Project One exercise, we get everyone else to upload a picture of themselves so we can see everyone online. Um, we will have an opportunity to do some group work down the road uh, throughout the semester, and that's why it's important to bring the pictures there because you can kind of see who you're working with as a group. Another area I'd like to have you take a look at is in the area of forums. Um, and forums for our class will be that of a threaded discussion. Different from a blog, different from a wiki, uh, different than from Twitter. Uh, a forum will be uh, an area which I will pose a question and I will ask for your response. You'll see here now that we actually have our first forum discussed the discussion posted and um, you will have part of your project one assignment uh, some work to do in that and I'll get into that in just a little bit. You'll also see we have areas here called blogs. You'll be doing some work in the blogs throughout the semester and also in the area of wikis. So those are some of the areas that we'll talk about throughout the semester. So at the highest level that is how we'll use the course management system. Um, it is your vehicle to access anything to do with the course 
And because the course is 100% online, uh, this has to be the, the application that you'll, you, you'll want to use um, when you're either on campus or off campus to make sure that you are in sync with the project and the assignments. But again, at the core of the course happens to be six assignments uh, or six projects. So let's just take a quick look at the first project. And again, if you have any questions at all about the projects, please contact me. Um, I need to get some input from you folks uh, with regards to what you think the best thing to do is for office hours. Uh, a lot of instructors who teach online courses do virtual office hours, and they actually participate in what we call our online chat room, um, which we could set up if you'd like, and we can have specific hours for me to be online and for you to come into the chat room. We can ch chat about anything, but we can also do it one-to-one -one with emails or phone calls, um, which the time I'm in the office, but I'll leave that to you. I'll, uh, I'll be uh, sending out a questionnaire fairly soon with regards to what do you think the best thing for our course is. But I want to let you know that I can be available um, within the normal 9 to 5 time frame and also outside of that time frame. So um, that's one of the objectives of an online class is to have the instructors available uh, within a given time to help you with any questions with regards to the course. So if I go back now to the resources section, and I now go to the first project. I'd like to have everyone, when they have a chance, to read through the project details for Project 1. And I won't take you through it in detail here, but basically Project 1 outlines um, four tasks and four assignments. Each task and assignment has a due date. Um, and I'm saying 11.59 p.m. because uh, come midnight, let's say on the 26th, the, lock, the Dropbox will lock. So it's important that you get your assignments into the Dropbox uh, before the given time, before it locks. So uh, at your convenience, I'd like to have you read through each one of the tasks and assignments. They're not hard. Uh, the objective of the first project is for you to experience online learning technologies. Uh, from that of terminology, the technologies themselves, and evolving best practices, meaning what are people doing to work effectively online uh, and how have people used technologies in the online learning space. Um, I figure this is an important piece because we are doing an online class. Um, throughout the semester we will be using more technologies, but I think we, it's important to get our, our, our feet wet with regards to using online learning technologies. The other thing I've done for you within Project One, I've uh, down here in the area where I've got five individual video tutorials. These are specific tutorials, some by me, some by other instructors at other colleges or institutions uh, that have been put together to help people learn how to use specific functions within the Epson course management system. Um, we will be adding pictures to our ePortfolio, something I talked about earlier. That'll be a video that you want to go take a look at. We are going to be posting to forms, as we talked about earlier. Uh, we will be creating a wiki, which is a public web page, and you will be creating a blog, um, and that will be for a journal type of discussion. Okay, So there's a lot of things here we'll be doing uh, with regards to using the technology. With that said, I'd like, and I'd like to have you all just go through Project One, and if you have any questions about Project One, please email me, call me, um, and let me know if you have any questions. So at this particular point, I think we're ready to go. Um, I think the most important thing is for you to get into Project One, start working with it. If you're not comfortable yet using, <coughs> excuse me, using Epsilon, I would ask you to review the Epsilon videos that I have available for you. The most important thing is remember is that anything that I put out for an announcement, you'll be made aware of. <coughs> Again, I apologize. You'll be made aware of this um, through your email. And one thing you do want to remember is that the Dropbox and the project due dates are very important. Since we will not be meeting in person, um, we don't basically take attendance. But it's up to you uh, within this course to make sure that you are on top of all of the projects. And uh, again, since this is the first time we're doing this course online, um, if you find that uh, there's some things you just don't understand, or even have some great ideas on how to change something, let me know. Because again, this, this course will evolve over time. So again, this is Rich Wall. Uh, I can be reached again at area code 
6157. Email is wall underscore r at mitchell.edu. I'm available also if you are on campus in Duquesne Center 211. But since we are online, uh, I can be available virtually too because I do have access to email uh, through my smartphone. So welcome to the course, everyone. Good luck with this, each project. You'll enjoy them. Uh, please, let's communicate as much as necessary. But at the same time, um, if you've got real concerns about a specific project or challenges, reach out to me, and we'll hopefully work well together. So here we go, and um, this should be a lot of fun. Thanks.